hate these magazines. Okay, Mecca. There's a huge party this weekend, and you're not invited. What? Do you try to sneak in, convince your friends not to go? <laughs> Wait a minute, or... you're invited and I'm not? Mecca, it's just a stupid quiz in this magazine. Oh, what's it called? The How Individual Are You quiz. So how individual are you? 8.2. Nice. Well, it's really made me realize how important it is to be your own person. I mean, what else can you say is completely yours besides your identity and your paper number? <laughs> Chaka, that's so funny. <laughs> it's not that funny. Where did you hear that? I just made it up. <laughs> no way. What's up, ladies? Nothing. Just chilling. Hey, Fruity, what kind of girls do you like best? Followers or individuals? As long as she follows me to my bedroom and gives me individual attention, then I got no problem with what she does on her own time. Ew, Fruity. What do you think, Matt? I like girls who aren't afraid to be themselves. <sighs> After all, what else can you say is completely yours besides your identity and your beeper number? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, you I like that. That's yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'll I'll catch you guys later. <sighs> Take care. Peace. Okay, bye. Mecca, that was pretty funny. I know. Tell Chaka. She totally made that up like five minutes ago. Ooh, how to choose a bra. All right. Ooh, I know I left that Carpenter CD here, but this place is so chock full of crap, it's impossible to find anything. Jen, may I remind you of something? What? A, this is my apartment. And B, I find it odd that a person who makes a living selling useless junk would chastise someone for having too much stuff. Fine. But if you ever manage to bring a girl back here, she'll get one look at this mess and run away screaming. You've got newspapers from the 70s, clothes from the 80s, some weird-looking bong. It's not a bong. It's a sculpture I made in the third grade. It was supposed to be a Gemini rocket, but someone opened the kiln and... Very touching, Alex, but it's gotta go. It's all gotta go. But I need this stuff. No. You just think you need it because you've never lived without it. But you know what? You know what, Alex? It's time to grow up. Go zen. Feng shui. Purge yourself of the past so you can be cleansed for the future. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have misplaced my English to freak dictionary. Could you translate that? You're a messy, immature little boy. Oh. I kind of liked it better the first way you said it. So we're dissecting these baby pigs, and Mr. Berman says that if you uncoil the guts, they stretch for like five miles or something. Pig guts. So Joe Oliver reaches into his pig, grabs some guts, and starts running around. Uh. And some of it like gets in my hair, and I was all... Wait, 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 wait. What did you just do? What do you mean? What you just did with your hands. I don't know. This? Uh, yeah, that's what you did. So? So! That's what I do with my hands. That's my yeah. hand motion. Can we just get back to the story? I want to hear about the pig guts. Chaka, it's not that big of a deal. Of course it's not that big of a deal to you. It's not your hand motion or anything. That move has got me dates. It's got me into clubs. It even got me the part of Coco in our junior high school production of Fame. So please, in the future, do not imitate my gestures and then tell me it's not that big of a deal, okay? What's her problem? Yeah, yo, she's bugging. Sometimes she can be so... I'm sorry, Mecca, but I do believe that that is my hand motion. Oh, yeah? Well, this is mine. Hmm. Oh, my God. What? President Reagan's been shot. <laughs> you know, Jen, mockery won't make this any easier. Yes, it will. <sighs> to you, these things may seem worthless, but they're actually all reminders of major moments in my life. First prize in the Tri-State Spelling Bee. The first episode of ALF. Alex, do you even want to try and live like a normal adult, or would you rather continue on as a girlfriendless, self-loathing, pathetic man-child? Uh, the one where I get the hot chicks? Then let's clean house, and we can start with that pillow. Huh? This pillow doesn't have to go. It's Cookie Monster. You know, C is for cookie? Yeah, C is for cookie. C is also for chicks will think you're a loser if they see that thing on your bed. But it's my whoopee. Your what? My whoopee. You know, from Mr. Mom when the kid... Alex. It's just a whoopee. Please don't ever say that word in my presence again. What word? Whoopee? Enough. Put it in the bag. But my Nana gave it to me. I'm not sure which word weirds me out more. Whoopee or Nana? It was my fourth birthday, and my nan, my grandmother, was on her deathbed.
I thought you told me your grandmom died at a Lionel Richie concert. No, it, was, it wasn't Lionel Richie. It was the Commodores. And she didn't die there. She just had a heart attack during three times a lady. And after, in the hospital, I go into her room, and she's lying there on the bed. She handed me this pillow, and in a hoarse whisper, she said to me, Sleep with this pillow every night, Alex, so that no matter where you are, you'll always have Nana with you. And then she died. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry you suck at making up stories. Fine. You have to admit I had you going, though. All right, I admit it. Now lose the pillow, little man. What are you doing here? Fruity bailed, so Matt asked if I wanted to come. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it had nothing to do with the fact that I'd be here. No, actually, I just wanted to see the bastards. Yeah, right, you don't even like them. I do, too. Name one song. I Soar. Figures you'd pick one from the new album. Hey, you guys should buy a t-shirt now, because all the good ones, they can be gone later. <laughs> Fine. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. Hang on, little guy. Daddy's coming. Hey, get back here! That's my whoopee! Okay, so I figured that if you were gonna insist on copying everything I do, I'd do something you'd never do. Okay, first of all, I've never copied you. And second of all, what could you possibly do that I would never do? Okay, third of all, you have so been copying me. And fourth of all, this. Oh my god. You shaved? Yup. Down there? No, Mecca, that's a picture of my ear. Did it hurt? No, but it's really starting to itch. Before and after shots, aren't you afraid someone's gonna see these? Relax, it's not like you can see my face on them. And even if someone does see them, they won't know it's me. Okay. And don't you even think about copying me on this one. What is your problem, Chaka? Why would I want to copy you? Because you always do. Anytime I do something, you have to do it too. You're getting all like single white female on my ass. What makes you think I follow your lead? Maybe you just can't handle the fact that I'm an individual and you're not. Oh yeah, right, that's it. Face it, Chaka, you always gotta do what the cool people are doing. Oh yeah, the cool people. It's better than getting all my fashion ideas from Sears. Oh yeah, and I suppose undoing puberty makes you the individuality queen or something? Well, at least I have some guts. Gee, I wish I looked like a plucked chicken down there. Uh, I do not. Yes, you do. Well, give me those. Here, you can have them. They're I don't mine. Like stupid, ugly picture. Good. Hey, uh, oh no. You two again? Don't you have a class you should be sleeping in? I'm sorry, Mr. Koopa. We were having a disagreement. Aw, oh, isn't that sweet? I'll tell you what. Why don't the two of you finish working things out at detention later today? I don't know what to do, Jen. That pillow is all I can think about. It's okay, Alex. You're just going through separation anxiety. I'm worried about him, Jen. And I'm a little worried about you personifying inanimate objects. Who knows where my whoopee is? Alex, you're right. He could be in grave danger. Maybe he's being cuddled by some neo-Nazi skinhead resting up before a big hate rally. Or some wasted frat guy with puke dripping out of his mouth. Or worse, what if there's a guy out there who looks like you and talks like you and he's found your whoopee and your whoopee thinks he's you, but he's not you. He's the evil you and he wants to kill your whoopee and he's feeding him poison cookies, but the whoopee won't know the difference because it's an odorless, colorless poison. Okay, now you're being ridiculous. Just promise me you won't share these feelings with anybody else, okay? I'm not sure other people will be as tolerant of your neuroses as I am. I promise. Oh, by the way, my Whoopi doesn't like cookies. He only eats popcorn and Snickers. I'm just kidding. Calm down. Jeez. Good afternoon, and welcome to detention. Would you like smoking or non-smoking? Which one's furthest away from you? <laughs> so what are you in for? Disrupting classes. You? Uh, I had me a little altercation with this fella about my taste in his women. Well, well, well. If it isn't little Miss Copycat. 
Yep, that's me, Chaka, and I really want to copy you right now, but I'm pretty sure the immature loser quota in this room has already been filled. Hey now, I didn't steal your secret move or whatever. Fruity, would you please tell Mecca how annoying it is when she copies people? You mean like how she wore that busted-ass green sweater the day after you wore it to Kelly Cooper's party? Fruity! You wore that sweater before you gave it to me? That was a birthday present. But Mecca, you said it was... What was the word? Hideous? Oh, you told me you loved it! And then you told me that you should have kept it because Mecca was too fat to wear it. Oh, no, I... Fruity, you are not helping here! Excuse me. How many of these photos can you fit on a page? Hmm, I'd say four, or else you won't be able to make out the writing on these protest signs. Does that say onion? No, it's union. Uh, um, did you? I mean, where did you find that? What are you doing? Oh, uh, I was, I was just, you see, that, that t-shirt looks familiar and... Oh, God, men are such animals. What a lame excuse. I saw you staring at my breasts. No, that's, I swear, that's not what I was... Where did you get the t-shirt? I gotta know. Did you see a Cookie Monster pillow? Expect a boycott, pig. By the way, I didn't want to tell you this this morning, but you missed a spot. What are you talking about? I mean, there's still hair down there. There is not. Fine, don't believe me. I don't have to not believe you. I can check right now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Mecca, they're not here. They're not here. Oh, what if someone saw me drop them? They'll know it's me. Oh, what if they post them on the internet and every night thousands of little cyber geeks can log on to hornyloser.com and stare at me while they... Oh, what if... Oh, what if some hip young artist finds them and decides to use them in his new exhibit? And then the whole city starts raving about how daring his art is? And the artist guy tracks me down? And we go in Oprah together? Well, okay, so that one wouldn't be so bad. But the other stuff, Mecca, I know you hate me right now, but you gotta help me get those pictures back. But if we both look for the pictures, then you'll just accuse me of copying. Oh, no, no thanks. I won't, I won't, I swear, I promise. Look, look, I'm really sorry about today, but I'm totally desperate here. Fine, but I'm still mad at you. Okay, fine, fair enough. Are we still buds, though? Of course. Great, now let's go get those pictures back. I know it was my t-shirt. I recognized the blueberry Pop-Tart stain. So what's the big deal? You're better off without all that stuff. I don't know. I feel exposed. Like everyone on the street knows my innermost secrets. Alex, your innermost secrets aren't even worth knowing. Hey, copy man. Hey, Jen. Hey, goat. Check out this vintage bong I just scored. That's not a bong. That's my rocket. Where'd you get that? Uh, hey, chill out, man. It's the last one. Yeah, yeah, but where did you get it? Down on Avenue A, man. Some old dude has a whole load of crap lying out of a blanket over there. Great. Jen, Goat, I'm out of here. Say, you didn't happen to see a little blue monster, did you? Well, not yet, but uh, check back with me later. Great. That's an heirloom. The French Minister of the Exterior awarded it to my grandfather back in World War II. What are you talking about? This is my blue ribbon for spelling. Ten dollars. Ten dollars? I threw this out two days ago. Heads up. Five-O, coming this way. Get off my stuff. Come on. Go, go, go. Let's get out of here. Wait. Wait. Ah. Oh. What else can we do? We've searched the entire school. Let me see your book one more time. Fine, but... Chaka, this isn't even your book. What? It's Fruity's. Oh, thank God, I thought I was going crazy. Wait a minute. If I have Fruity's book, then that means... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to throw up. Puke on the way, because we got to go find Fruity. Where do you think Fruity is? I don't know. Maybe he's at Starbase 12 with Matt. Hey, Alex. Have you seen Fruity around? Uh, uh, no. But did a bunch of hairy guys with blankets come this way? Uh, no. What, are you looking for something? Uh, no. Are you? Yeah, Chaka took these Ow! Well, we gotta go. N not that we're looking for anything. Or anything. <laughs> yeah, me too. I mean, no, me neither. I... Well, bye. There he is. Oh, damn. Come on. 
Where did you get this? Hey, you owe me ten bucks. Okay, okay. I'll give you ten bucks if you tell me where this came from. I uh, traded with Louis four blankets down. I gave him a deck of girly cards. You know, this is all my stuff. Are you saying I'm a thief? No, no, of course not. How much for everything? A Boss Hog cookie jar? Man, I've been looking for one of these for years. You passed the door, man. All right, here it comes. Here Look! All right, um, I'll distract him, and you go look in his backpack. Hey, Fruity! What's up, chicky baby? What you up to? I'm just chilling. What are you up to? You know, showing some moves to my boys over here. Hey, calm down, ladies. I'll be back in a second. Yeah, I'm sure you got lots to show you, boys. Hey, you ain't kidding. Because you got the goods, right? That's right. I got the skills to pay the bills. Yo, shut up. Hey, what about later we... I gotta go. Ah, simmer down, ladies. Did you get it? Chaka, the closest thing to a book in that backpack was a copy of PlayStation Magazine. Crap. Do you think he's seen the pictures? I don't know. I was egging him on to see if he'd say anything, but he didn't. He's such a sneaky bastard. He'd probably hold on to something like that until the time was perfect to wreck my life. Maybe he just left it in his locker. He never studies. I hope so. I guess I'll just have to snag the book before class tomorrow. Tomorrow? What do we do till then? I'm gonna go buy some moisturizer. All this running around's got me chafing in places I've never chafed before. Well, it's nice to see that the National Crap Museum has been fully restored to its prior splendor. Ooh, and I see some new exhibits have been added to the permanent collection. I guess I got a little carried away. Did you ever think that all this junk is merely a crutch to fill the empty void that has become your life? Hmm. I could say the same thing about your dry wit and sarcastic remarks. Ouch! All right, meow. I'll back off. So, any luck in finding your whoopee? Nope. And I checked out every vendor in the East Village. I'm sorry, kiddo. Maybe it's for the best. Yeah. I know I should move on, but I can't. I feel like I've lost a piece of myself. I know completely how you feel. You do? Yeah. It's exactly how I felt when the A-Team went off the air. If you're gonna make jokes, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Okay, okay, but Alex, you know the story. You know I only rip on you because my low self-esteem makes me incapable of expressing any sort of sincere emotion, right? Get out, Jen. You lost your whoopee. I lost Mr. T and Hannibal. Whoa, Chaka, you look like hell. Oh, thank you. Did you get the book back? No. Fruity hasn't shown up yet. All right. Let's continue with the oral reports. Ah, and here's our first volunteer of the day. No problem. By the way, may I say thank you, sir? <clears throat> What's up, Lucy? My report is about the economic effects of slash and burn agriculture on South American rainforests. Slash and burn agriculture occurs when farmers chop away at thick, bushy, overgrown patches of foliage. He knows. He definitely knows. Maybe he doesn't. It's just a report. I have some pictures here which will show you just how devastating this process is. Hi, um, does Alex Henson live here? Yeah, I'm Alex. Oh. Is something the matter? <laughs> No, no, it, it's just that, well, I found this on the street, and it had your name on it. Well, I called the number, and your mom told me you lived here now. Well, I just assumed that, you know, it belonged to someone a little... Younger? Yeah, younger. Well, it's been in my closet for years, and I was cleaning the place well, out. you know, I collect this kind of stuff myself. I've got a Grover coffee mug, a Snuffleupagus lamp. Oh, God. I must sound like such a dork. No, I think that's great. You know, when I was a kid, that wo that that pillow was my most prized possession. Oh, that is so cute. Really? Totally. Well, I'm glad I found you. Uh, you know what? You keep it. For your collection. No. Yeah, go ahead. Really? Yeah, sure. Well, okay. But only if you let me take you out for dinner sometime. Uh, 
though. Yeah, I know I don't have to, but I want to. I mean, come on. How often do I get to meet a totally cute guy who isn't afraid to admit he has a whoopee? But hey, I never said I never it's said okay, it was. Okay, Alex. Just get a pen and take down my number. Right. Nice place, by the way. Thanks. I decorated it myself. Good report, Fruity. Those pictures of Peru. Really cool. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, what made you choose that for a report topic? I don't know. It seemed interesting. Plus, my cousin did the same report two years ago. Your parents must be so proud. <sighs> Slick move. You think he saw him? For a while there, I'm sure he did. But he hasn't said a word about it. And not even Fruity can hold on to such a juicy piece of information for this long. I'm thinking it's all good. So you're gonna rip him up now? Hell yeah. By the way, if you want to shave too, I won't think you're copying me. <sighs> Whatever. No offense, Chaka. But that is one look I definitely do not want to sport. Hey, wait up! Don't worry, Baldy. Your secret's safe with me. But that five o'clock shadow's a bitch, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs>